Rigoberto, how are you? Hi, Rigoberto. Hey, hello, Rigo, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hey. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're the first one I read in class. So that's amazing. <laughs> How was your day so far? Was it good? It was fun. Yeah. Oh, nothing yeah. happened. Nothing interesting happens at work today. No, nothing out of order. <laughs> oh, okay. But you know what? It's really nice that you finish on time because you were able to be uh, basically um ready, right? <laughs> today so that's cool that's also you could be on time here so i like it i'm so happy yeah hey, you are the first one so we'll be one-on-one -on -one session that's awesome now. <laughs> yeah you know what hopefully if we continue together by the next model you already bought a web camera yeah and i will be able to see your face right today is the last class teacher yes i'm sorry to to mention that <laughs> This is the final class. Can you imagine? Time passed really, really fast, right? I imagine. I remember the first time that we uh, got together, and everybody was like, mm, "I was going to be the teacher, like, eh, right?" And then <laughs> basically, we uh, we get along well, everybody, right? And then we're here, and we already finished. It's already passed one minute. It's amazing, right? Yeah. you know what to be honest with you i i didn't feel it i don't know about you but in my case no way <laughs> i didn't feel that no, no it right was fun. yeah I'm, a, was... I'm, a, I'm about to finish my my classes at the anniversary too oh really right on november 15 ah on november 15 or december 15 De december 15 oh december okay that's awesome so almost like a couple of weeks right yes because tomorrow starts tomorrow we start the it's last month of the days. year wow oh my god tomorrow's the first date of december oh you cannot imagine okay yeah it will be like this you know it's going to time the time will pass really fast well so you almost finished that's nine and you are in um first year second year third year First year. Oh, first year. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, oh. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's what I was asking you. Do, do you know uh, what, uh, what age I was when I started a university? Mm, which age were you? Yes. Mm, I don't know. 20. <laughs> no. 18. <laughs> No, younger than that. 15. No, not 15. 17. And almost. <laughs> I was uh, 16 and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, really, for sure. Yeah, my mother said, right after you finish high school, you gotta go there. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, she told me, I'm, I'm, you're not going to work right now, but are you going to be only studying? But if you fail one subject, <laughs> you're going to go back and going to work and at the same time study. So it's up to you. And I was like, no way. So, and everybody was giving us a bullying, right? Because we were like such a babies by that time. There was notes on the, on the, on the, on the halls or inside a room that, it was like a little baby with the little, you see, with the mm -hmm. little bo bottle of milk. So I'm like, oh my God, so bad. Yeah. And I finished when I was 22 years old. 26? When I 22. 22. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So it was yesterday. And leave it like that way. <laughs> okay. That was yesterday. Yes. For yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. 22. Can you imagine? And time passed really fast. That was back in 2004, Rigo. 2004. Yeah. So, like, almost 17 years ago. <laughs> yes, that's really fast. So, you will see. You will see. You will finish during the first year, and then you will have the five, fifth year, and then you will finish. You will see that time pass really fast. 
And what are you studying, by the way? Licenciatura en idioma inglés. Oh my God! How can I say it, by the way? How can I say it, by the okay. way? It, 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 I know it sounds like bachelor's degree. Yeah, no, bachelor's mm. degree? No, actually, no. You can you can say that you were studying the foreign languages, which is a specialty in uh, English. Foreign language. Yeah. yeah, are you going to is going to be in English, or is going to be French as well? Only English. Only English. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. At uh, the national university. No. Pedagogy. Technology. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? I have a really good reference from there because I have one of my ex coworkers. He's a really amazing teacher and he was graduated from there. Where is his or her name? No, it's his name actually. <laughs> his name? Uh, Jamie? No. No, no, but it, it, he's, he's uh, older than you. He's like a 30 something, 33, like that. <laughs> so you, you're not gonna, you're, you're, you're not gonna know him. Yeah, definitely. But he's a really, really, really excellent teacher. Actually, I learned so much from him that you cannot imagine. You're a teacher. Yes, I am, but th that I learn from him a lot. Because, mm -hmm. um, Sometimes you see you you, uh, you have one qualities, but your coworkers have another qualities, right? So you mm -hmm. complement each other, and you can learn from somebody else as well, right? So I learned a lot from him. Sometimes um, I don't know what was like. You know what? What? I don't know how we introduced this topic or like I forgot this thing. And like he said, "Don't worry, I'm gonna give you a hand." So he was always there for me. Because he that is his specialty. I'm a I'm a I'm a journalist actually, but I love to teach. So that's why I approach to him every time. And I'm so so happy that I learned from him a lot. And I continue learning to be honest with you. Because sometimes I ask him a few things. <laughs> yeah. Are you a journalist? Yes, I am. Oh, <laughs> and uh, my specialty is uh, institutional communications. That means the image that the uh, institution has with the employees and vice versa, and also the image to in the uh, or basically to control the image that the enterprise has with the other um, companies that they related for, right? So it will be like it, like an equivalent, equivalent because the internal and external image of an enterprise. That's what I what I do basically. How many jobs do you have? <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Right now, I'm not doing that. And I'm not. I'm, not, I'm multitasking, but not a lot. Okay. And I, and, and I don't have the energy that you have. I'm I'm getting older. Come on, no way. No, how old are you? <gasps> okay. No. Uh, yes, yes. I, I'm getting older. That's all, all that I'm gonna say. You gave our age to you. I'm about to retire. <laughs> yeah, come on, you're about to retire. You're the first year of my university. No way. <laughs> you're about to retire? No. How... That's what you say, teacher. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm 39 years old. Oh, it's a bit younger. Thank you. I love yes. you, Maria. You're going to be my BFF forever and ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'm so dumb, but I already felt um, the struggle of getting a little bit older, you know? Sometimes yeah. my back hurts, sometimes my knees. I'm a little bit crunchy, you know? Because every time that I wake up, I like crack, crack, crack. So, <laughs> so that's why I'm a little bit crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, now my ankles crack and then my wrist cracks, it looks right, and then my back and my I neck. Need... <laughs> I only crunch, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm crunchy. Yes, crunchy. I feel yes. like a cookie sometimes. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're like cracks, cracks, right? Yeah, you know what? I When I was your age, Rico, and nothing happens to me, and I didn't have any pain, not even in my nails, right? Okay. <laughs> and then, oh my goodness, then I'm like, why oh, I feel so tired? 
why why my knee hurts a little bit like oh my god so yeah yeah it's true right francisco you're like you're getting older there's nothing else that you can do <laughs> however to be honest we do i don't know about you guys but i even though i'm not in my 20s anymore right i'm still in my 30s and <laughs> um, but i do not feel old at all <laughs> I, i don't feel it well the kids said lady and i was like oh my god <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah and when you approach the supermarket or the bank and the the, the bodyguard op op opens the door right uh good afternoon lady and i was like oh my god <laughs> yeah because they used it. to call me good afternoon girl right or something like that i was like oh, you but no <laughs> not anymore so like uh, well i gotta get used to it right uh, what else can i do for you yeah. just accept that age but you know i don't know but i have a lot of energy still still yeah i don't know why well mm -hmm. i'm still a hyper girl you know what today <laughs> i almost finished my training guys i had to let you know too <laughs> yeah and i you know what Byron? i i i'm Well, I have missed how you feel about taking calls. Can you imagine? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, going back to business, right? Oh <laughs> no! And I was like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first day on Monday, I was like, I almost throw up because I I got anxious that mm -hmm. how I'm going to what, what kind of customers I'm going to deal with and all the stuff. And I was like, oh my god! And I was like, okay. And they said, "Are you ready? No, <laughs> but, like, go for it, right? Go for it." Because I forgot how I was like that. You know, I was having a lot of time with call center experience. So, well, I had to try a new, new environment. Okay, so mm -mm. it was really, really good. But today was really tough. Mm -hmm. We were back to back, back to back, back to back. And I was like, "Oh my god, yes!" But it was, it was really good, actually. Yeah. And I have like a lot of people who, who helps me a lot because sometimes you don't know anything, everything, right? Mm -hmm. You are learning during the time or with the calls that you take or the environment. Or it's, it's totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so somebody can teach you things on the training, but it's, they're not going to teach you everything because sometimes mm -hmm. it will be like a, a specific environment, a specific situation that maybe you haven't faced it on and you're like, and hey, what am I going to do here? <laughs> yeah but i pretend to sound like self-confidence <laughs> and then i put myself on me like help please. yeah <laughs> yeah it was it's part of the process you know but i was like that's good yeah well yeah i like that yeah today and friday will be my last day on nasty i'm in nasty byron i'm in nasty mm -hmm. ah, and yeah and and well supposedly my boss is going to send me the schedule we're still waiting for mm -hmm. i think he's still on the with the clients meeting <laughs> since mm -hmm. 4 p.m so i don't know and mm -hmm. well but hopefully for by tomorrow we'll know it because on friday will be my last date and then i come back home Mm -hmm. and i will be That's really cool. happy because i will work from home yeah it's amazing you know it's amazing i love it i miss my puppies and miss my pajamas <laughs> <laughs> my flip flops and everything pajamas. yeah it's awesome i miss it i miss <laughs> yeah you know what and i oh and you know i don't like to wake up yeah i used to wake up in the morning <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no anymore and, to, and i had to be ready all the days at 6 10 a.m and now i arrived to the uh to the job around 6 38 mm -hmm. and i started my shift at 8 so i had to uh, wake up at 5 30 i was like no way yeah I don't, yeah you know what they asked and me now you're gonna wake up uh around five minutes before the shift <laughs> you know what I, i had to let you know something this is, this is a secret i did but, it But, but it's not a secret actually uh the place that i work uh, mm -hmm. I, i have a, a little bed which of course that is the, my pet's spot right mm -hmm. because they have breaks and they have lunches as well they are my team mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'm the supervisor <laughs> i apologize by but it's not the way it is <laughs> and, and you know what yeah i could be like 15 minutes before my shift starts and i can like start open everything and then mm -hmm. i will be ready i'm so It happy but yeah that happens you know <laughs> and then when you got the first break 
you you go to take a shower <laughs> actually no <laughs> <laughs> no, I take a shower before. Until your lunch. <laughs> because, uh -huh, sometimes at lunch. Because to be honest with you, I, I cannot, I have to wake up. If not, yeah. I would be like, <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes I wash my hair on lunchtime because right now in my place it's really cold. And due to my sinus problems, I don't have, I, I cannot have like a wet hair. So at mm. noon, it's like we have some sun, right, available. And I can mm. take a shower. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. So now I'm back to business, Barry. Now I I remember how does it feels. <laughs> like oh, thank okay. God I'm not taking calls right now, but you will. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, because I I was doing something different, but now that I've been transferred to a different department, uh, basically I need to do that. So that's all. That's okay. That's cool. I'm going to learn. A lot. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Uh, but, well, I'm going to wait. Hopefully, they don't give me the schedule for 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. Yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. the area that I work for is 24-7. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there is a yeah, You're going to get greater. No, but from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m., no way. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not jogger anymore. I cannot deal. With, I can deal that <laughs> with one week, but after one week, I will like no way. Yeah. Yes. No. No. It's no, hard. No. It's hard. Of course, you will get more money, but no way. I will yes. spend it on my doctors. I only <laughs> did it once, but it was for overtime. But ah. I did overtime from I don't know. My real chief was from eight in the uh, eleven in the morning. And then I ended up around 7 p.m. And then I did overtime from 8 p.m. to 3 in the morning. Well, but that oh, was one day. The same day. No, I... well, actually, it was for one week. Because Ooh, a week? No. Yeah, we no got, way. Uh, I was working with another airline uh -huh. in a call center. So they got the, the buen fin. Is that what they yeah. call Spanish? Mm -hmm. Uh. Well, even in English, it has to say el buen fin. So that's why. I and know that. it's common already with for that account as well, but I'm not with them. Oof. Thanks <laughs> but I cannot God. do I cannot mm. do any overtime for what I am. Because right of precision, <laughs> yes, I know that. Yeah. I know that for sure. Hopefully I, I will be able not to do overtime as well. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, yes, because I'm starting like uh like an agent right now but that's okay i like it i do like mm -hmm. it a lot but it's a lot of information to deal with so yeah. i'm so happy about it at least i passed my certification course and i was like mm. yeah but no but i did it so ah, i'm so happy there you go guys <laughs> today is our last class of the model how you feel guys isn't it amazing? We were we were discussing with Rigoberto that it, I didn't feel the time. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't feel it. Mm -hmm. So, and now we already have the last class. It's amazing, right? How the time passed. Yeah, really, but, really why, but, but why is it amazing? Because it's the last class? Or this is amazing? No, no. It's, <laughs> it's amazing regarding the, basically that the time passed really fast. Uh, okay. uh -huh. It is regarding that. It's not because like I'm not gonna see these guys anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> no it's not that. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what? You you're not gonna believe me, guys. But I I do really um care about my students, and I really um basically have that connection with them. And every mm -hmm. time that um that a uh, class or model finish. I still, I'm not to show that, but I feel really emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I pretend not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. Yes, because I'm, I don't know, like, um, I basically, I'm a person that doesn't want to see you like a simple students. Mm -hmm. um, see each of you like an individual human being. Mm -hmm. And I try to focus on your qualities instead of your negative areas. Oh, all of them has that, right? We're not perfect. But um, each of you uh, have made a really good effort during mm -hmm. the model. 
um, you, I know that for some of you it was really hard for health problems or for work-related issues or family issues. Sometimes you're a single mom, so not a single mom, but of course, uh, being a mom, right, Maria and Vernita, we do not have a schedule. We are 24 seven, right? Yeah, so it's not easy at all. However, you are doing like an extra mile. And basically, I'm so glad that every time that we're um, log in, I see your faces because besides of your uh, being a student, you do have your own life with your mm -hmm. own responsibilities, with your own works. Doesn't matter if you work outside home or from home, still you have to have like a uh, schedule arrangements in order to fit everything right in your daily basis activities. So I'm so glad that I can see you and make that extra effort because maybe I know that you are tired. I, I know that for sure, mentally and physically, right? But you're here. And that's what I'm so happy every time that I see you because I think, oh, so my effort really is really value that these guys are doing the best that they can. They are putting so much effort from their part. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy when I see you like pronounce it correctly, like giving examples correctly, like being on time in class. And I was like, oh my God, these, these dudes are amazing. These dudes, I'm sorry, but I, yeah, you know what? That word we use it when we have like a really close relation with somebody, right? These dudes, that means these pals, these friends, right? That's what it means. So that's what I see, you guys. You are my English babes, each of you. With the permission of your uh, husband and with the permission of your, <laughs> right, you know, <laughs> of your wife, of course. <laughs> Uh -uh, don't take it like another way yeah. oh my god <laughs> thank you so much for the heart you know what i always think that the, that a teacher is the one that give you a hand opens your mind but most likely touches your heart that is like a rule of a teacher mm -hmm. right yeah i'm not a kind of person that uh, likes to round and like cover all the topics and like rip and when somebody asks you about that you don't know how to answer no I prefer quality of knowledge or quantity of knowledge. And I'm so happy for you guys because you had like, I know that, so I'm sorry if I put you a lot, like plus a lot, I'm sorry for that, but <laughs> you have to. And sometimes I'm being like a not nice teacher, especially in the listening activities, right? You say like, yeah, I want to listen another time, no way. Or especially dictation as well, right? You have mm -hmm. asked me, what's the P number teacher? I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But teacher. it's part of the process. Yes, go ahead, Maria. Okay. Um, uh, you have my gratitude. Yeah, is it's correct, I don't know. Okay. Because um, I developed my my listening. Listening? That's Thank awesome. You. Okay. Yeah. A, a little, a little, but it's it's good for me yes of course it is a little Thanks. it is a lot yeah <laughs> oh, yeah yes, yeah of yes. course you can improve a little bit but that is but it's an improvement yes and that's awesome you'll Thank still continue you learning okay. my pleasure maria that's what i'm here for you will continue learning that's why i asked i, I send you um songs i let you do this do that i do have a special uh, web pages that I will send it to you today and hopefully tomorrow yeah that you will be able to see a lot of activities a lot of different topics and games oh you cannot imagine and that will help you with the different levels to improve your English I like I, I already selected a few pages so it will help you a lot mm. a lot a lot yes. a lot and you know what we are going to continue developing your listening skill today Marie Actually, mm. today I want to talk about something really important. Uh, guys, is it that any of you have moved to a different country or live in a different country like once in your life? Yeah. For example, have yes. you live in a, it could be like in a different continent, but in the same continent, like, I don't know, South America. Yeah. Have you moved to a different country? Which one, Francisco? 
I lived in Guatemala and Honduras and Costa Rica. Oh my God, mm. I love it. Me too. And I, yeah, I've been there as well. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Alex? Uh, a long time ago, I lived in Panama, but Panama. just one year, but just one year. Oh, but um, it's one year? Yes, and uh, I traveled to the, around Central America, uh, Guatemala to Colombia. Oh, uh, yes, yes, a long time ago, but, but, uh, my job, huh? but yes. you have experienced that, yeah, yes, of course, of course, they have advantage and disadvantage, right? We're yes. gonna talk about that, uh, yeah. but I want to know if you have this in other countries. What about somebody else, Molina, Mr. Aguilar, uh, Anita, Kathy, Byron, Gabby, mm. Rigo, Mernita, Louis? No. no. Nobody else? No, Josie, uh, just once. Once I went to Guatemala, but it was a short trip. Oh, but it, but you didn't live there. You actually was like a trip. Yeah, yeah, it was one day trip. Ah, one day trip. Oh my goodness, to Guatemala. Oof. <laughs> that was really really tough. One day. And tiring. Yeah. Of course. If you, for example, if you departure from Salvador at 6 a.m. in the morning, you're riding to Guatemala, capital city, around 10 a.m., I think. Yeah, so yeah kind of I think that that time we, we left El Salvador about 4 a.m. 4 a.m., so we were around 8, 8.30, right? Something like that. Yeah. Wow, but it was really tough. Yeah, and really short, yeah. Actually, I mean, yeah. You, you just go have breakfast there and then lunch and Bye. then just take some pictures <laughs> and go. Exactly. Yeah. And Guatemala is a huge country. <laughs> That's right. It's such a big country that you cannot imagine. So the distance from mm -hmm. one place to another is too big to, yeah. to visit a lot. Yeah, as in yeah. one day is not possible. Unless you're a Speedy Gonzalez or something like that. No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Somebody else or just these three guys? Okay. No, that's okay. No problem. Oh, in the same city with the, with the same people. Yeah, with the, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All righty. So <laughs> think about it, guys. Oh, Kathy. Well, yeah. Kathy? Yeah? I only travel, no, no living. Ah, yeah. but the, you travel to another country. Which one? Yeah. Huh? I didn't yeah. listen to you. Sorry. We follow the America, Central America. Uh huh. In Colombia, Spain. Oh my God. Spain. Spain. <laughs> yeah, very good. So it's like Spain. Uh, <laughs> very United good. States. You see? Yeah, United States. Okay. Mexico. Wow. I love travel. Yes, I, I no, don't uh, tell me. I haven't uh -huh. noticed that. No way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. So you see, well, even though guys, you have lived in another country like Alex and Francisco, or had traveled just for, for a few days, like um Kathy or Gavi. Let me ask you something. Did you miss your country? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. I lived in Guatemala seven years, and mm -hmm. uh, the one year is a beautiful country. I eat tamales and tostadas, <laughs> and tortillas, and every, everywhere, everything. <laughs> and but uh, uh, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, in the morning, I missed the pupusas. <laughs> the rice pupusas is horrible. The meat <laughs> eat. Uh, rice pupusas and, and nothing in Guatemala, nothing. Uh, so mm -hmm. um, many people make pupusas with and use topping guacamole. It's strange. <laughs> and, and it is. It is. <laughs> it's like um, yes, of course. And. Guatemala is a beautiful country. It's yes, a, yes, a, a, yes. The places uh, so um, tourist. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. 
Uh, at the uh, Trans Lake and Tikal. I love it. It's, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Yes, it's I've done it in Amati Land as well. The most beautiful lake in the world. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yes. It is. And, and it's uh, huge. And, uh, and, uh, the weather is rich. <laughs> oh, yes, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> and the strawberries uh, are like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and the, the diversity of cultures. Diversity, uh, yes. Yes, it's, it's interesting. It's really rich, but actually. It's really rich, mm -hmm. but, um, but in Guatemala exists um, probably three or four cosmovisions or mm -hmm. worlds. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, in in many village of indigenous people uh, is uh, different customs and mm -hmm. uh, traditions and uh, dialects. They uh, they are. Um, um, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You have it there. Yes, uh, introvert. In, introvert. Introvert, introverted. No, I don't know. In and English. no, do yourself. Go ahead. You can do okay. it. Okay. Is is don't don't uh, speak uh, for anything. Ah, um, like a shy person. Shy. Yeah. Yes. Is a close society. Mm -hmm. a close society with a language, uh, own language. Mm -hmm. and, and it's difficult for foreign people to uh, enter the culture. And, yeah, it's good. and the community the, as well, right? And the community, yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's other, other traditions. I know. Yes. Yeah, that happens. Including um, eating like some popos fried. Yeah. Fry some popos with lemon. Those are delicious, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah. Really? Like, yes, but they're strange. <laughs> yes. yes you know th that is a poor way to pass away because there's some, there's some purpose mm -hmm. they are they are still alive with the wings and they put it on the pan and they yeah. and it smells like yeah. a burn like a burn meat like yeah like a grilled mm -hmm. meat but I like it because <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Salt, salt, uh, yeah, it's and, pan and yeah. with butter and exactly uh, they put it in a plastic bag with a like um how you say that? Uh, Oja de Huerta, right? That in yeah. uh, a slide of lemon, they squeeze it, and you know what? They taste like pepesca, at least for okay. me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or bacon? Oh, bacon, bacon yeah. Oh, fry, bacon. fry. Uh -huh. bacon. Yeah, it's really good. I'm so sad about this poor some pop up because that's a really worse proteins. way to pass away. But it's really good proteins, <laughs> high proteins. Yes, yeah, proteins, it is. Yes. And also source. Do you know what source is? Was that? It's, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's really delicious. So what I'm what I'm asking about that because guys, um, based on your own experience, or maybe you can think about it. Uh, if you, for example, guys, move to a foreign country. What would you have? Would you have a concern about what could have happened to you there? That's a really interesting question. So now, what I want you guys to pay attention is about that these people have uh, basically some of them have moved to a foreign country. Some of them are thinking of doing that, but they have concerns. They have many concerns. So basic concerns is like we are worried about something. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could be related to language, like Francisco said, related to gastronomy, related to um, if you can find jobs. Well, there's a lot of things that you, it can uh, make you think twice before decided to move to a different country. So basically, I just want you to listen to that. And maybe we can talk about it if you have the same concerns. Or maybe that had happens to you, the ones that you already have been living in a different country. So just listen carefully. And then let me know your opinion about it. Okay, just bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, Doki. One thing I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. <laughs> I'd be worried about the local food. I might not like it. Hmm. Getting used to different customs might be difficult at first. My room at home is the thing that I'd miss the most. Not knowing the prices of things is something I'd be concerned about. 
Moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge.、Mm -hmm. I'd be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Something I'd be nervous about is communicating in a new language. All right. So let me ask you something about the concern that you have heard right now. Do you have similar concerns? Or when you move to a different country, for example, Alex or Francisco or Gavi or Katy that have this in different countries, was some of these some concerns that pass through your mind? Like for example, if what happened if I don't like the food? What happened if they speak another language and I don't know what they're talking about? So what happened? Okay, it, this is this concern had happened to you, the ones that you listened. Is that happened to you? Does it worry or no? Yeah, for yeah. me,、um, the most important is is the doctor thing.、Mm -hmm. Why?、Uh, because once I went to Guatemala,、mm -hmm. uh, and I felt really bad. You felt bad. Okay. I just I just thought. What if I get worse and I don't know where to go,、uh -huh. and and I don't know. I mean, we I couldn't said okay. I go home. No, I had to wait for everybody、uh, finish the tour,、wow. and then we left the country. So、um, that really upset me that time, but fortunately I couldn't have to go. To do that. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, you know what? There's one of the main concerns, especially because not all the countries we have the same procedure to follow, right? When you got sick, for example, here in El Salvador, you can if you are a foreign person, you can go directly to a hospital, and nobody will ask you for something. Or, for example, if you feel bad, you can go to the store that is in front of your house. And as for acetaminophen, right? Yes. Or an allergy pill or whatever. But let me ask you:、uh, did that that had happened to you, Francisco, where where when you lived in those countries, or Alexander, that you got sick and and you had to go to the doctor? It was different. Was it different? No. No. In, in my in,、uh, in my case, never I sick. Good. Thanks it, God. Yes. That. The the first、uh, I know I remember it for me is a real is when I went to the the breakfast because、ah, the breakfast in Panama、mm -hmm. is a some fries that、ah, yes meat fries and, and the other stuff it, it what happened because I oh, oh I want to eat、uh, beans and cheese and scrambled eggs, eggs and, and tortilla yes coffee I'm very hungry. <laughs> or, or for example, in Honduras, Honduras, just as a, a platano, I don't remember the name exactly, but bananas. A, uh huh.、Mm -hmm. No, no, no. But it, it, it's like tajadas. Tostones. Oh, plantains. Slices. Tostones, right? Tostones. 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 Right? Tostones. Tostones. Right? Tostones. Yeah, yeah the same thing in Honduras、uh -huh. as well. Yes, yeah. Nicaragua as well. Yes, it's, it's a different. Or for example,、mm -hmm. when when we for, at the end, okay, I found that. Uh, the beans, okay, but it's a different beans. It's a different it, it taste. Sometimes they're sweet beans. Uh huh. It, what happened? But I tried. I tried.、Mm -hmm. I, I remember the the last of four months. I remember when I I when I had in in Panama, I I um, llevaba. I don't remember. What what you that, would like to say? Ah,、uh, eh, yo llevaba. Frijoles, allá a Panamá. Okay. Yes. Every time I read about, I brought some free,、uh, beans. I, I brought, yes, I, I brought some beans. Yes, because、oh. I prefer cook in Panamá. Because ah, delicious. Or、awesome、sometimes I brought, I bought some cheese, the petacones, or something. <laughs> you know, yes. It's, it's, a, it's a different taste. You it's are a yeah. So yeah. I think everybody will miss Mama's kitchen, right? Mama's、yeah. kitchen, right? Yeah. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mama's kitchen, yeah. like, no. oh. Or, 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 I I remember one times, one times in Colombia, in Colombia.、Uh -huh. Hey, hey, please, please,、uh, Alexander, come, come here. Uh huh. What happened?、Uh, right now, uh, 
we want to the special food for us in uh -huh. Colombia. It's like a, a it's like a, a, I love, it's like, uh, I don't remember exactly the name, but it's like rice and meat and uh, uh, some stuff like a, like a... Um, uh, oh, they have pizza. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a big plate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big dish. <laughs> You know, yeah, uh, I, I, wow. I don't like it, but I, I don't, what I say, oh, what, what, what I say, what I do, do right now. Oh, it's, just oh, pretend that it's yummy and like, mm. uh, it's and when nobody's up here, like, throw it to the dog. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no dog yeah. near to you. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That, you know what? That happens because if yeah. why you don't like the lock of food, like that happens mm -hmm. to you. Uh, what I don't like the room. What about mm -hmm. the prices? Right? Yeah. There'll be yes. barrier. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I remember in Costa Rica, if you have a, bad, a headache, you cannot go to the store or you cannot go to the drugstore and ask for a pill. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the doctor, to give you a prescription, yeah. even for acetaminophen, and then you will be able to get one. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, for example, you have like a pills that you take here for any disease that you have. But in mm -hmm. your, if you go to another country, Mm -hmm. It could be exactly the same pills, but they name different. Oh, yeah. So that's a, a lot of things that concerns, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So like, and maybe we have passed that. Maybe we will pass that. But yeah, it, it, it is like that way. So guys, it's really nice what we're talking about that. Because um, basically, sometimes when we move to a different country, there could be like a cultural shock, right? Hey. And yeah, and it is really important, guys, to like improve our vocabulary into knowing, for example, so adjectives. It could be positive, it could be negative adjectives that we can use to talk about how you can feel when you face through those situations, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if it's regarding language, um, gastronomy, um, prizes, health, like that happens to Gabby, etc. So I wanna sh share with you right now some vocabulary extra vocabulary that will help you a lot to describe how you felt when you were in that position or maybe to express how you will feel mm -hmm. if if any time in your life you need to make the decision we don't know mm -hmm. you know sometimes could change in our country and well we have to move to Guatemala to another place we don't know what well, mm -hmm. right now we're here and tomorrow we don't know mm -hmm. so it's so it's really really important so I'm going to share right now my screen. And uh, basically, guys, I have a variety of um, adjectives that I want to share with you. I want to make it bigger just for Alex to see it. <laughs> All right. All right. So, guys, we have like three columns. Of course, there are more, but I just want to uh, share with you those things. Positive and negative are uh, basically um adjectives to describe that will help us to describe how people sometimes feel when they live mm -hmm. in a foreign country for example yeah. uh, anxious do you know what the meaning of anxious? anxious yes yes like nervous uh, no no anxious exactly very mm -hmm. good comfortable mm -hmm. Como? yes confident confiado Aha, uh -huh. when you're when you feel sure or secure, we can yes, say that. Secure, uh -huh. Curious. 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 Yes. <laughs> Very good. Depress. Deprimido. Yes. Yes. Embarrassed. Avergonzado. Exactly. Avergonzado. Yes. Very good. Enthusiastic. Yes. Smile. <laughs> Excited. Excited. Yes, very good. Fascinated. Homesick. No me digan que enfermo de casa porque no lo están de esta manera. Are you sure? The house is sick. No. Don't trans oh, literally sick. translate it, please. Me extrañando su casa. Ah, ah. Nostálico. Nostálico. Ah. Nostálico. that might be yep yeah it could be nostalgia yeah very good exactly exactly we can say that nostalgical yeah mm -hmm. what about insecure mm -hmm. 
Inseguro. Inseguro. Ajá. Nervous. Nervioso. 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 Very good. Uncertain. Oh, yes, exactly. Uncomfortable. Incómodo. Mm -hmm. And Incomodo. worried. Preocupado. Preocupado. Very good. Okay, so let's figure it out now, guys. Which is the ones that we can consider positive and which ones the one that we consider negative? What about anxious? Do you, what do you think? Is it a positive or negative one? Okay. Negative. Negative? negative. All right. Yes. Negative. What about comfortable? Yeah. Positive. Positive. All right. Confident? Positive. 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 Okay. Uh, curious? Positive. 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 Either or, right? Yes. Okay, let's put it like both. Depress? Negative. 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 Embarrassed? Negative. 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 Enthusiastic? Negative. Positive. 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 Excited? Positive. Positive. Fascinated? Positive. Positive. Oh, positive. Sorry, positive. Positive. Teacher, negative. What about homesick? Negative. negative. Are you sure? Uh, no. no. Yes it's, and it's, no, it's, right? It depends on. Yes, yes and no, maybe. It depends mm -hmm. because yes. it depends on the level that yes. you feel it. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. What about insecure? Negative. 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 Nervous? Negative. 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 Uncertain? Negative. negative. Uncomfortable? Negative. Worry? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So that those are some examples. Of course, we have more, but I don't know. May I ask you guys from this adjectives that we're learning right now, do you know all of them or some of them are brand new for you? Just one left me. Which one? Homesick. Homesick. I know that is a new one. Homesick. Okay. Yeah. What about you guys? Me too. What else? The same. same. The same? Uncertain. Yes, I'm Uncertain mm -hmm. as well. Okay, very Uncertain. good. Uncertain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other one? No? Okay, no. that's cool. All right, guys. So let's practice right now the pronunciation because it's really important. Repeat after me. Anxious. 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 Comfortable. 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 Very good. Confident. 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 Curious. 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 Depressed. Embarrassed. 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 Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Excited. Excited. Fascinated. Fascinated. Homesick. Homesick. Insecure. Insecure. Nervous. Nervous. Uncertain. Uncertain. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Worried. Warrior. Okay, now only you. Okay, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, go ahead. With the, what is the first one? Okay. Anxious. Continue. Comfortable. Uh huh. Continue. Confident. Go ahead. Curious. 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 Okay. Excited. Go ahead, continue. Insecure. Nervous. Very good. So you see, you have increased your vocabulary. And I'm so, you, now you have more information that also not only, guys, will help you to describe how you feel in this case when you move into a different countries or when you have like uh, cultural shocks but also guys it will also help you to describe for example when there are some situations in your life which you have experienced like uh, some feelings of the one that we have uh, made right now or repeat for example may i ask you guys have you passed to a situation when that makes you feel embarrassed or nervous or worry about something? Yes, I was yeah. anxious in the airport. Really? Why? Yeah, because um, in the airport of Rome, the Fiumicino, no? mm -hmm. uh, uh, the airlines um, um, tend? Terminals? 
Vendió. Sold. 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 Ah, oversold. Sold. 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 Uh, more. More pass. Oh, oversold. More pass. Oversold. Mm -hmm. More tickets. Over, over tickets. Okay. Oh, and my my wife and me. Uh, and my wife and I. And I. Uh, Hey, went went to the, uh -huh, yes, went to the counter and the flight is full. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we need return to El Salvador. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. And what happened with your spots? You didn't have your spots safe? Uh, Do you understand my question? No. No. But the your airline spot always, is to lugar. Uh, passed on over. Sí, él lo sabe por experiencia propia. Que si no tenías tus, tus lugares eh, um, guardados. Yes, yes, yes. So the check-in is in, uh -huh. in online. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, you pre-check it. You pre-check it. You pre it, okay. And, uh, but the airlines no respond. Uh, oh, I'm uh, sorry. So, so, mm -hmm. so, what did um, you do? We, Wait, wait in the counter. I hear. <laughs> I'm not gonna move. Me. Okay. Nobody move me. <laughs> okay. Of course. And so a result, result, ah. uh, result. But it was the same day, or you had to stay in a hotel? Uh, no, the, the same day. Ah, phew. Okay. But oh an hour, an hour, horrible. Oh yeah, I can imagine. So you were yeah. anxious. And maybe yeah, nervous, right? Nervous and angry. Yeah, yeah. and uncomfortable. And hungry. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And worry. And worry, yes, of course, because he didn't know, are we going to spend this night in here in the airport? The airport? Are they going to pay the hotel for us? We don't know. There's a lot of things that come to your mind, right? Oh, no. my God. So now let me ask you. Maybe it doesn't happen to you like Francisco that you were coming from a different country. But maybe a situation that happens to you yesterday or happens with your family, with your dog, with your baby, whatever. At work, would you like to share mm -hmm. something that happens mm -hmm. to you guys? Maybe I don't know. When I listen, Luisito. Luisito, do you have passed through a situation that have make you feel, I don't know, anxious, nervous, or something? Do you remember the first time that you're going to take calls? <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's uh -huh. very nervous, but uh, the most is when I was a soldier. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yes, Tell us. because uh, we confrontation. We confronted? We, from, we confronted uh, with uh, with 10 persons from the M MS. Okay. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, and in this moment, I am, it's, compl it's a complicated situation, but. Okay, yes. Yes. Oh my God. So in that time, the, you felt like anxious, right? Uh, I, I feel the adrenaline, adrenaline. Nervous. Is, yeah. Oh my but God. I, I uh, my boss, she say I respond good. I say I respond bien. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, I have a good reac reaction. Reaction? In this moment. Oh my yeah. God. So maybe you felt kind of uncertain, right? Mm, yes. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not easy to face that situation. No, it's not easy. Uh, but I am here. <laughs> Yes, and we are happy that you had <laughs> that you had a self control in that situation. If not, yeah, we have eaten tamales long time ago, and we don't want that. <laughs> no, we don't want that. To be honest with, you. no way. <laughs> what about you, uh, Mirnita? Uh, did you face some situation related to your babies or house? I don't know that make you feel like worry, insecure, or or or, or no, or, or positive things could be as well. No, teacher, I have no past no, nothing because I don't travel much. <laughs> no, but I mean, it doesn't have to be with a, with a moving to another country. Maybe, for example, we can we have faced some family issues. For example, if your baby if your baby got sick, yes, yes, at yeah. that moment, yes. Uh huh. So I, what happened? How do you feel when that worried, happens? Uh huh. Worried. 
I think that that moment not what will pass. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, I think that illness in the baby uh, is too much, uh, a lot of time and, and don't bear it. Yeah, you were like yes. nervous, right? Anxiety, yes. uncertain as well. Yeah. If my baby is going to get better or worse, how mm -hmm. long is going to last this illness in my baby? Are they going yeah. to doctors prescribe a good medication? So there's a lot of things that come to your mind, right? Or if you have to go to the hospital and stay there, how long we're going to be here? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of things that comes to your mind, right? Yeah. Oof. yeah. I know. What about a uh, related to home, to home, to work? Any experience, guys? Katy, Mr. Molina, Anita, Gavi, Mr. Byron. I always, I always am uh, stressed. Under stress? Okay. I have a lot of work. Mm. To work and many responsibilities in to work. No, yeah. Oh my God. So you feel like a lot of pressure, right? A lot of anxiety, maybe, right? And I am studying English. I am studying university. <gasps> <in Africa. laughs> And don't uh, don't blame me for that <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you hey listen to her tone of voice i feel so anxious and, and i study english and then she said and i'm sorry the university so she, how, how she changed the tone of voice you see yes yeah so she punished me oh no wait it's not my fault <laughs> no, no but i'm i'm agree with you sometimes you feel overwhelmed you know what overwhelm yeah. is yeah yeah, when you yeah. think that there's a lot of things over your children yes. that you're, yes. no way. I, I feel so tired. Yeah, I know, I know that that happens exactly. So you see, guys, how how we can use certain like words to describe um how people can feel uh, when they live in a foreign language, but at the same time, when you face to a difficult situations, right? And so. In that case, guys, when you're talking about that, when you're talking about how you feel in a specific situation, if you move to a country or if you face family, work, or <laughs> health issues, whatever, that's why we use, guys, what we know as a noun phrases. And that those noun phrases contain relative clauses. I want you guys to sh share with you some information really quickly. Mm -hmm. because you, you you didn't know that you have used it right now mm -hmm. but you didn't know that it was oh my god that was non class of relative <laughs> uh, yeah. i didn't know that was the name of the of the thing in grammar wow right so, so you use that but i want you guys to to show you how it's used it so you will be able to to continue using it on to improve the way that you express yourself. So let me double check and share right now my screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. You see, the noun phrases containing relative classes. For example, you can say, um, one thing that I would really miss is my mom's school. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, <laughs> it's something that Francisco mentioned. <laughs> Something that I've been nervous about is communicating in a new language, right? Or maybe you can say two people who or that I call every week are my parents, for example. So you see, now phrases containing relative classes. Relative classes could be at the beginning of the sentence, which is exactly the same example that we're sharing right now, but it could be also at the end of the sentence. Let's double check the the next sentences. You can say, my mom's cooking is one thing that I will really miss. Yes. You see? Yes. You marry it. Also, you can say, communicating in a new language is something that I've been nervous about. Been nervous about. Mm -hmm. You can say, my parents are two people who, or that, depends, you can use either or, or you can use it. You can say, are two people I'd call that right a week, okay? So it's up to you. So you see how it works? It's not complicated at all. But you will always use this one, guys. I'd. I, that is a contraction of would, okay? Yes, I, I would. would be, yes. I would be, yeah. It's not had, it's would. 
Mm -hmm. So you see how it works? It's not complicated at all. So do me a favor. We're still waiting for three minutes. Three minutes, guys. <laughs> okay, three minutes. So this is what I want you to do. We have here like four things here. Sentences. Uh, so this one, basically, I want you guys to make like a sentence or like an ideas to complete it. For example, let me check something. Let me double check if I can fix it. All right, all right. Okay, let's look at it. We have 10 sentences here. And this takes 10 sentences. I want you guys to use the words that you have above so you can complete the idea. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. For example, let me share you an, uh, an example here. One thing I definitely be excited about is taking pictures as I go sightseeing. You know what sightseeing is? Oh, sight sightseeing is. You know what sight? What expression sightseeing? No. No. For example, have you walked in a forest, right? I think Alexandra does. And also, mm -hmm. have you go to, I don't know, a Pacopaneca, whatever place, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you like start walking and uh -huh. you saw something beautiful. Hey, I like that. You grab your phone and you take a picture and you continue walking and then, uh -huh. oh, I love that bird. Look, and you okay. take a picture. So that is sightseeing. Uh -huh. uh, okay. At the okay. same time, you're walking and getting to know about all the environment around you. You saw like something really beautiful piece. and then chuk, chuk, took a picture. Yeah, what? What you said? Puebliando. Like a Japanese. <laughs> Puebliando. No, it's like, um, oh my God, how you say that in Spanish? Help me in Spanish. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, um, um, cuando caminas y ves algo que te gusta, and you take a picture, like, I like it. I want to. I want to keep it like a like a something I can remember later on, right? Turistiando. Turistiando. No. Turist. Yes. For example, I remember. I remember one time in in the United States. Uh, I remember I I asked uh, my <laughs> the, the other teacher mm -hmm. what happened if, if when I when I went to the uh, store or in mm -hmm. maybe that the sales asked me hey what do you want do you need mm -hmm. something you said i say see you just solando mirando solando exactly viendo, right like, yes. like 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 yes, a yes. like a search turismo mm -hmm. like a looking around yeah yeah, yeah. like that very good mm -hmm. exactly Solo mm -hmm. mirujando in Spanish, right? Vitrineando. I know vitrineando is another thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> in the store. Uh -huh. That is what we call the, the horse. Um, come purchase. I was I like that. Come purchase. It's like, mm -hmm. and come purchase is like, I want to look for a pair of shoes, but I go to Lee Shoes and ask for how much it, then I go to MD. And then I go to pay list so I can compare prices. That is comp size for comforts. Yeah. All right, yeah. very good. So you see how it works? It's not complicated at all. Okay, guys, uh, 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 I'm going to send it to you as a homework, okay? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, you know what? Time passed really fast. Yes. It's already mm. 9 01. That's amazing, right? Oh my God, it's amazing that we're already finished and we don't feel the time. Okay, Mr. Alex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just to clarify why I feel, oh, I said that is amazing. Okay. Yeah, so don't feel bad. I'm going to send it to you right now. So just bear with me and let me know if you receive it. Okay, guys. There you go. Mm -mm 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 there you go all righty it's already there would you like me also to, to send it to you the other one that we saw about a uh, how we construct noun phrases with containing relative classes i'm gonna send it to you as well so it will help you a lot okay mm -hmm. there you go okay i already did it did you receive it guys yep or no? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. I'm so happy about it. What, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> It was my pleasure to be with you this entire model. It is Thank time to cry. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm strong. Yes. <laughs> I just get it. You remember Shrek? I, it was Shrek the third, right? That the cat said, I'm not going to cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. So, so that happens to me as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was my pleasure right now. Thank you so much for support me, right? And also for like be patient with this crazy teacher. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so so happy that I was able to to meet you guys and also like um to help you in your journey, in your English learning journey, right? I know sometimes was not I was not a good so easy right, especially talking. Talk. But I had to yes, thank you, Rigoberto. Don't, don't laugh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's really hard for me to speak slow. I had to let you know that so well. Oh, you know what? I remember that mm -hmm. I promised you something, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what I promised to you? No, no cry. Or a skin in his Yes, Cito. You went to talk in Spanish. Uh huh. Yes, exactly, Lisito. <laughs> and, and well, I have work. Please don't like laugh if I don't pronounce something good. <laughs> But I try to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me switch the cassette really quickly. Okay, cool. Um, bueno. <clears throat> Oh, Byron, I cannot see your face. Where are you, sir? <laughs> He was already crying. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> stop, please. Stop, Byron. Stop. Oh, no. No. Don't cry. <laughs> bueno. Chicos, muchas gracias por estar conmigo este módulo. Ha sido un... Um, un largo camino, right, en el aprendizaje del idioma inglés. Yo sé que no fue nada fácil y casi me estrangulan de vez en cuando. Pero wow. lo he hecho para que ustedes, espero hayan aprendido un poquito más de lo que ustedes ya saben y pues pra practiquen. Cada vez que ustedes puedan hablar inglés con alguien, practiquenlo. No importa que metan la pata, esos esos parte del proceso. No es tu idioma original. Claro, vas a meter la pata. Vas a tener tu acento. Eso es perfectamente normal. Pero nunca te rindas. Échale gana. Eso sí. No te vayas a parecer que Star English para, para, para poder hacer fancy, vea, tampoco. No, no, no. Y sabes, nunca tengas miedo de, 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 de preguntar. Pregunta. ¿Sí? Y ya vas a ver que le vas a hacer súper, súper bien. Te voy a mandar esos links para que tú puedas en tu casa hacer como listening activities. ¿sí? Okay. Por ejemplo, puede ser que escuches una reservación de un hotel. Uh -huh. right? Y después tengas una serie de preguntas acerca de eso. Y tú puedes evaluarte a ti mismo, ver cuánto le cachaste, que no. Y si sales mal, pues vuelves a hacer el, el examen y así vas. Te va a ayudar mucho lo que te voy a mandar. Solo que tenga paciencia. ¿eh? Porque mi training es, termina hasta el viernes. Okay. Ah, okay. Así, okay. Sí, así que si no se los mando esta semana, va a ser porque de plano ya no aguanto. Y estoy así. <risa> Pero promise que se los mando esta semana. Solamente quiero que tengan paciencia conmigo. Ha sido muy, muy bueno haberlos conocido y haber reído con ustedes llorado también con ustedes, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué más? No, no llorado. Bueno, sí, ¿verdad? No. Sí, un poquito. Sobre todo cuando no entendían. Ah, y también casi, casi agarrarlos del buche. Y era like, ¡guay! ¡Ey, del buche! Eso es una palabra del de, de Salvador, ¿verdad? En inglés, buche. Bu the neck. <laughs> neck. The neck. Sí, pero bueno, es, es que es chévere, ¿no? Es chévere todo lo que hemos aprendido, ¿verdad? 
Y bueno, <risa> sí. sí, y me gusta porque he conocido a nuevos estudiantes, eh, ya sea animalitos, como en el caso de Katy, <risa> o bebés, como en el caso de Mirnita. <risa> Mira qué linda me sonría. Yeah, hola. Me, me encantan los cachetes. Cachetes se dice, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, cachetes. Sí, yes, cachete. Sí, he aprendido mucho de ustedes también. Y bueno, ni modo. Yo espero seguir con modo? ustedes. No sé si, sí, no sé, no. Dependerá de los chicos de administración. Pero si no, todos los teachers son fenomenales. Van a aprender muchísimo de ellos. Definitivamente. Entonces, Sáquenle provecho y pregúntenle. Oigan, que para eso estamos. Si no sabemos, lo inventamos. No mentiras, no. No, 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 no lo averiguamos porque no somos bibliotecas para burlarnos tampoco. Así que, oigan, ¿tienen algo que decir? ¿Alguna duda, comentario, reclamo? Hable ahora, ok, para siempre. Miren que mi español está bien, ¿verdad? Vea que lo mejoré. Yes. Yes. Gracias. Sí, he practicado mucho con mis compañeros acá de la nueva del departamento, entonces hemos ayudado ahora, bastante. Ahora en francés. No me entenderás no, ni no, jota. No me entenderás ni jota. Así que cómo voy a hacer. Oui. Y dice. Oui. 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 ¿Sabes oui. qué? Vas a hacer igual que has visto la serie Una familia de diez. Yeah. ¿Sí? ¿Te acuerdas que el abuelito dice a ah, oui, oui, ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, uno de ellos, creo que es Plutarco, le dice, ¿qué significa a oui, oui? Y entonces usted le, le dice, oui, en, fran en francés es sí. Entonces tú dices, a ah, oui, oui, así sí. Y entonces, ¿entendiste? Le dice el otro y le dice, a ah, oui, oui, le dice. It was really fun. Estuvo muy gracioso, right? Sí, yo, ay, no. Eso sí es pierde teachers. Yeah. Definitivamente. Sí, no. entonces, en francés, ¿no? Pero, ay, 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 se nos olvidó. Bueno, no se preocupe. Ajá, algo que quieran decir, que hablen ahora que calle para siempre. Adiós, teacher. Solo muchas gracias. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Aquí les apreciamos bastante todo lo aprendido, igual que, que todas las clases fueron bien dinámicas, eh, totalmente, pues, y... y <laughs> sí. Guys, <laughs> no, it's another way to say cuckoo, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, sí. But it was fun. Thank, Thank you. Me alegra, me alegra que les haya dado. Fue real appreciation. I'm going to cry. <laughs> no, en serio. Ah, ah, ya no voy a decir nada porque entonces para ayudar a la teacher. A decirle, a empezar a decir mi espíritu. Uh -huh. ¿sí? Dele, dele. Go ahead, it's up to you. A los compañeros lo van a colgar. Yo no, yo estoy aquí. No, de mi parte, muchísimas gracias. Realmente, eh, sabe que al inicio yo estuve un poco, eh, ¿cómo puedo decir? no quería entrar a clases, no en esta, no en esta suya, no en la suya, no que en, la, en las anteriores, por tiempo y otras cosas y porque me habían mal informado. Pero cuando ya entré y poco a poco fui viendo, eh, realmente me gustaron. Y a mí me gusta mucho cuando la gente es, es muy, muy feliz, muy activa, porque te hace que, que estés trabajando, que te hace que estás compartiendo. Y, y, y como dijo usted hace un momento, no importa que me equivoque. Yo digo, bueno, o sea, al final, para empezar, no los estoy viendo a la par. Después no sé si los voy a ver, así que voy a, a equivocarme y voy a aprender pues, a hacer todo lo que, lo que pueda, ¿verdad? Exacto. Pero sí, muchas gracias. A mí realmente me gustó muchísimo cómo nos, nos ha enseñado y espero que si hay una oportunidad y, y si pasamos, si nos pone días a todos ahí, tal vez nos volvemos a ver. <risa> <risa> Ese es un mensaje subliminal. Sí. <risa> ya lo pensaré. <risa> no, mentira. Lo pensaré. Eh, sí, ya, ya los he calificado, no se preocupe. No, no, y no, y no importa. Y sabe, y, ¿Y sabe qué? En lo personal, por ejemplo, eh, a mí no me interesa, no, no quiero que se escuche mal, pero lo quiero decir de esta forma. A mí las notas al final no me interesan. A mí me interesa aprender. Porque digo, al final, 
a mí la nota, o sea, yo ya estoy estudiando inglés porque lo quiero y porque lo quiero practicar. A mí me gusta viajar. Quiero ir a y poder, y poder, como, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, hablar, pues, no, no quedarme callado. Entonces, yo lo hago, digamos, parte por, por hobby. Ya no tengo una presión como cuando estudiaba. Que decía, ah, estoy estudiando y tengo que sacar buena nota. No, si ahora lo que quiero es aprender. Entonces, me voy a forzar y, y me voy a equivocar y, y voy a ir aprendiendo. Exactamente. Y dijo, a mí me gusta viajar. No. De... <risa> I don't me believe encanta. you. Ay, no, aro. Sí, es, es, sabes, eso es difícil cuando tú viajas y no puedes expresarte. Eso es frustrante. Sí. Es horrible. Uy, uy, no, ya me he pasado una vez y en francés y no fue nada fácil. Por eso decidí estudiar francés, ¿sabes? Porque no le pude ayudar a la persona. Y no hablaba ni y en su media pío de inglés que me dijo, al fin pude ayudarle y. Pues la sí. persona que le ayudó, y si sabía francés, dele. Pero ya fue bien frustrante no poder entender no, pues, nada. Ahora, ahora imagínense, yo fui hace dos años, tres años fui a China. Imagínense mi inglés, mi inglés, con una chinita hablando mi inglés. Oh, no sé cómo nos hacemos pedazos, pero entendimos, porque yo fui a hacer negocios. Pero ella habla, bueno... Yo le, al final yo quería comprar unos chafing para salsa y yo como no me robotaba decía tienes chafing tu sausages y ella sausages y, 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 obviamente está equivocado está diciendo para salchichas pero al final <risa> y, y yo, yes. <risa> ella me entendió ah quiero chafing tus tos ah tu prefer sauce de, de mantenerlo caliente y yes, 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 yes. <risa> es complicado pero ahí complicado, poco, sí. poco yo y, y, y e hice negocio, porque hice negocio, pero creo que ahora me iría mucho mejor que esa vez, pero. Ah, ah, no it was frustrated, right? You see? It was frustrated. Dije, foreign countries, how you feel? Yeah, so <laughs> me alegro, chicos, que han aprendido. Bueno, yo quisiera estar con usted hasta la medianoche, pero me va a matar, María. Yeah, yeah, Así. Yeah. Sí, dice. El mismo. Sí, el mismo. <laughs> el mismo. <laughs> no, mentiras. Les deseo un abrazo. Un enorme beso y espero que pues uh, descansen, ¿verdad? Y les voy okay. a mandar la información que necesitan para okay, que continúen okay. aprendiendo. ¿Quería decir algo, you. señor Molina? No, o sea... Eh... Uh -huh. <risa> 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 eh, eh, bueno, eh, eh, hay, eh, bueno, yo estoy bastante satisfecho con con estas clases es eso que estoy retomando eh, pero sí este eh, al, eh, al principio eh, solo entendía quizás un, un 40% ya en, eh, pienso I think that I understand eh, 60 eh, Uh, 70% percent and, and uh, I, I feel I feel good <laughs> and I, I I think that in, in the other and the next the next uh, step uh, I I I go on uh, learning some more listening. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. I'm so thank you as well, guys. Okay. I, okay. So, guys, it was a pleasure to have you here. Hopefully, we can meet you in the next model, right? Okay. Yeah. Hugs and kisses. Okay. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, baby. Bye.